Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lycobirds. In this video, I want to talk about a new article that just came out from the Finch Research Network, finchnetwork.org, and I'll put a link to the article in the description. The article is titled, Eruption Alert, Pine Siskins Are On The Move. And the article is by Ryan Mendelbaum. It starts out, after Tyler Hoare's promising first winter finch forecast, Pine siskins have already started to push southward across the eastern United States. First, I want to talk about this winter finch forecast, and I'll put a link to this in the description as well. The winter finch forecast has been put out by a man named Ron Pittaway for the past 20 years. Ron announced this fall that he would not be putting out the forecast, but Tyler Hoare announced that he would be stepping up and publishing the forecast. So uh, a big thank you to both of them for the hard work that they've done. Basically what this is, is a forecast of what species might be erupting south from the boreal forests of Canada into the United States this winter. And the way that it's done is by looking at the food supplies in Canada with the basic idea being that when the food supply is low, those species move south looking for food. So we're looking at species such as pine grosbeak, purple finch, crossbills, red poles, pine siskins, evening grosbeak, and also blue jays, red-breasted nuthatches, and bohemian waxwings. If we scroll back up and look at the pine siskin uh, prediction, it's talking about the smaller numbers remaining in the eastern boreal forest should move southward looking for food. At feeders, they prefer Niger seeds in silo feeders. If we go back to the Pine Siskin article, we see data from eBird for August of 2020, where we can see that there were some reports down pretty far south, but then September 2020, we see there are a lot more reports, and just the past few days, the last few days of September, I personally know a number of birders um, primarily throughout Pennsylvania, where I'm from, who have reported having pine siskins, including my brother Bobby, who also makes videos on this channel. He had one in Lycoming County, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's been a few reports in Delaware already. I'm in northern Delaware right now and have not had any yet, but I'm definitely uh, keeping an eye and an ear out for them. So the bottom line is that in addition to being a good fall for red-breasted nuthatches and purple finches, like we've talked about in some previous videos, it's also going to be a good fall in winter for pine siskins. So definitely keep an eye out on your feeders. And again, they prefer Niger seed. So good birding, and I hope that we all get a lot of good looks at pine siskins this winter. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.